Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to lighten the color of a synthetic wig. In the event that the wig you just ordered came in a little too dark and you don't have the time or money to buy a new one, or if you're looking to transform an old wig for a cost test, cosplay, or Halloween, then you might want to give this a try. We are going to use a white temporary spray-on color that is made for human hair. A lot of brands make them and they're pretty inexpensive. I'll leave a link for the one I'm using here in the description box below. To see how this product affects color and texture, I'm using a wavy bright orange wig. I'll leave a link for it also in the description box below. Shake well before use. Hold the can about 10 inches away from the hair, then spray in quick, short bursts. Use your hands to spread the product and even out the color. Doing this will lead to some transfer, but no worries. Just wash your hands with soap and water and it comes right off. I recommend working in small sections and lifting the hair as you go to make sure that everything gets coated. The more you spray, the lighter the color will be. However, for best results, try not to use too much product. And don't worry if some areas are lighter than others. It adds dimension to the hair, and your hands will continue to spread and blend everything together. Once you're happy with the coloring, give the spray a few minutes to dry completely, and you're done. On its own, there should be little to no color transfer when you touch your wig. And while the packaging says to not apply any other styling products on top of the spray, I don't see the harm in a light layer of hairspray just for peace of mind. Here is the before and after comparison. I think there's definitely a subtle yet noticeable difference between the two sides. The original side is shiny while the lightened side has a matte finish. The lightened fibers feel soft yet no longer silky, and they're slightly stiffer than before but still pliable. Depending on how much product you used, combing through the wig may be a little difficult, so be gentle. Another thing to be mindful of is that temporary spray on hair color washes out with shampoo, so I would avoid getting your wig wet until you're ready to remove the color. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and found it helpful. And subscribe to my channel, Tara for Your Wellness, for more videos like this and other fun things. Until next time, take care and stay well.